wow, wow. I can't believe it. The Roller Rink is one of my favorite places to visit. It's been my opportunity to visit this place. I've always wanted to do some real roller skating. And guess what? Today my dream comes true. What do you think we'll find here? Nothing! Yeah, Lee! Wow. So this is what they call magic. Well, well, friends. It's me, your friend Wubsy. Ready for some fun? Okay, let's go. Hmm? Ah, lovely. Ooh, 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 and guess what? We're going to be taking a special guest along to the roller rink. Well, not anymore you don't. I'd like you to meet my teddy, Sunshine Bubbles. Let me tell you all about her. My teddy's name is Sunshine Bubbles. She's younger than me. I'm a little bit cuter than her. She's really funny, though. One summer, we all went away on a holiday to the Ocean View Motel, and they took Sunshine Bubbles with me. We were lounging about it in the sitting room one day when Mom came in and asked us what our plan was. Then I said this was our plan. Mom said we can't lay around sleeping all day, and that she had a whole lot of activities to do for the day. Dad said we wanted to take a tour of the Civil War battlefield. Mom said we wanted to go to the beach. My sister said we wanted to visit the Electric Guitar Museum. What I said was we wanted to go to the Animal Safari, which we used to visit a lot when we were kids. And I, uh, I mean little kids. But Mom read through the brochure, so the artificial things, and said the animal safari was an artificial zoo, and the best thing to do was to avoid places being that way. Then Mom said this was a family vacation, and that we were going to the beach. So we had to take our beach towels and head for the beach. Mom can make a picnic, and Dad can get an ice cream, and you, sister... You are going to make the biggest sandcastle ever. So we agreed the sandcastle was a good idea because no one will let me spoil it. A few hours later, we came back to our hotel room. Sunshine Bubbles was gone. Mom said the clean lady must have scooped up Sunshine Bubbles when she took the sheets. So she suggested we go down to the place where they do the laundry to see if she was in the washer or something. But she wasn't there either. By that time, I was pretty hysterical. So mom told me not to worry and that we should make some posters, which we put all over the hotel. The next day, we went to the beach. I couldn't enjoy myself because of sunshine bubbles. Dad played one of the carnival games and won me a stuffed animal to replace sunshine bubbles. But it wasn't the same. Losing Sunshine Bubbles pretty much ruined the rest of the holiday for me and my family. So we left home a day early. I went to sleep when we came back that night. And the next morning when I woke up, Sunshine Bubbles was sitting on top of my dresser. I couldn't believe it. And later that day, Mom came into my room to talk. She said Sunshine must have found her way home because she loved me so much. And what I believed for a long time. And that's what I believed for a long time. Ah! Wait! What's that noise? Ah! Couple skate! Huggy, you're up! Wow, crybaby. But, but, but! Oh, sorry. Ah! The cake! Get in there! Go! Yeah, I know. Oh, wow. That is kooky.